Welcome to the Z Hut. Today, we're going to take a look at the analog temperature sensor module, which basically all this really is is a thermistor on a breakout board. So, what we'll do is we'll look at how this is connected and I'll give you a quick explanation of what it is. And um, then we'll go to the computer and I'll show you how to get the readings off of this. So, all right, what this is, like I said, um, it's an analog temperature sensor. But unlike um, some of your other temperature sisters, or temperature sensors, excuse me, um, this one just gives you an analog output. It doesn't give you the, the exact temperature. What it does is depending on how hot or how cold it is, uh, the resistance in it changes. And the, the most common name for this is a thermistor. Um, you'll have your like DHT 11s and DHT 22s, which are a temperature sensor that uses a digital reading that gives you the actual temperature through a library and stuff. This is more for, you know, like maybe you wanted to set an alarm and have it go off at a certain temperature. Well, you would need to set this up, then do a reading and find out what the resistance value of this is at the temperature that you want it to go off at and you could set uh, that the parameters in your sketch for your Arduino and uh, so on that's just one use so all right to connect this we have three pins this one right here is our ground pin the negative and it's marked right there with a negative the middle pin that's our positive or voltage that goes to the 5 volt voltage um, this should also work with 3.3 voltage of some of the other arduinos but i do believe you don't want to go much over the five volts with this as it may damage it and then on this side here marked with an s we have our signal pin and that's all there is to it now to hook this up for this tutorial i already have the jumpers in i'm going to plug it in i got the the positive and ground connected through and then I have the signal pin on analog pin 0, A0. And what we're going to do now is we'll go over to the computer and we'll take a look at the sketch and um, how to get the readings off of this. So, all right, I'll catch you there in just a second. Okay, I have the Arduino IDE opened up here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, one of the um, Arduino's included examples to uh, test out and demonstrate using this thermistor. So just go under File, go down to your Examples, come over to Basic, and then you want Analog Read Serial. Click on that, and we'll bring it in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Upload to get it uploading. So what this um, <coughs> sketch is for is for taking a potentiometer and doing an analog read of the values you know so when you turn the knob right to left the the value is going to go up or down well all we're going to do is instead of connecting the potentiometer which would be the center pin to a0 we're just going to put the signal pin from uh, our thermistor module and we're going to put that to a0 and everything's going to work same way instead of reading the potentiometer we're just going to get the readings from the the temperature sensor all right so we've got our serial at 9600 just make sure that matches um, what your serial monitor is set at and then we're just doing down here is you know we're doing integer and we're calling it sensor value and then we're doing an analog read of a0 and it's got a delay of one um, before it goes through I'm going to change that to 100 because I don't like it being super fast running at warp speed I'll go ahead and upload that again and so after we're doing the that the read of it we're just doing the you know serial dot print line of the sensor value and then delaying 100 milliseconds and then going through the loop and doing it again and again and again all right so everything's loaded up I'm gonna open the serial monitor now right now at my room temperature this is the value we're getting, um, about 640. Now, your thermistor, it's going to vary a little bit in the range it will have. <clears throat> but the um, lowest number you're going to have 
is going to be 0 and your highest value is going to be 1023. Now this is room temperature right now. It's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the workshop here. Um, I don't like to keep it very hot and it's a cooler day anyway. I'm going to go ahead and put my fingers over it. As you can see, as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down, so the number gets lower. So as the temperature gets cooler, the value is going to go up. And that's how you get your readings off of it. Um, like I said, you're going to have a, a slight difference, you know, not every single thermistor is going to be the same and depending where you get your boards from they're not going to be all 100 identical but um, that is all there really is to use in this how to use the data you're getting that is up to you you know maybe you want to have a fan turn on if it gets so hot or have a light bulb turn on if it gets too cool for like an egg incubator or something and what you just do you know is get a fairly accurate thermometer and um, just take a reading with this sketch here at the temperature where you want something to happen and just use that value in your sketch. Hope that makes sense to you. All right, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I can't think of anything else to go over with this, so I'd like to uh, thank you for joining us here today. If you found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to get more Arduino tutorials, and we do a little bit of other stuff as well. So... Have a great day, and remember, have fun building.